Welcome to another Curator's Corner. I'm Melissa Buchanan. You've probably heard foghorns or ship's whistles on cruise ships before, but did you know that uh, Navy ships also have them? Behind me is a foghorn that we found here on the USS Yorktown. We're not 100% certain that it is actually the Yorktown's foghorn, but considering that it's so heavy, it more than likely is. And this horn is, uh, weighs about a ton. It's been on display in Hangar Bay 1 for many years. The longer the bell is, the deeper the tone. The signaling devices were used for pulling in and out of the port. This was the way that they communicated with other vessels. Our operations director and our HVAC technician, who's an engineering type and uh, very mechanically inclined, thought it may be a good idea to see if we could get this whistle to, to operate. Our engineering crew was able to fabricate a different initiator, air instead of steam for the foghorn. When the original whistle was in position on the island, it had an unlimited supply of steam, and now we're running it just off of about 130 to 140 pounds of compressed air. The horn could be heard for 10 miles. It's gonna give the fighting lady her voice back, 59 to 60 hertz, and in the area of about 180 decibels. It is so loud that it will rattle the paint in here. So how loud is this thing? Find out for yourself. A normal conversation is around 60 decibels. This is the equivalent of the volcanic explosion at Krakatoa. It'll be a, a thing that we can use for signaling different events, say fireworks for uh, 4th of July and maybe New Year's Eve at the stroke of midnight. It's another piece of our, one of our artifacts. It's a piece of history of the Yorktown and it's just a means of keeping the ship alive. The next time you're visiting Mount Pleasant or downtown Charleston and you hear our blast, maybe you'll think about visiting Patriots Point. Thank you for listening to another Curator's Corner. I'm Melissa Buchanan.